Hello, uh, this is Jane Potter Day coming from YouTube.com. And um, this year is about a couple of subjects. Um, a girl named on YouTube, like Kai, K A I. I don't know, pronouncing that right. And I would like to uh, say thank you to her for showing for a beautiful body, a uh, big, thick, plump, plump. It's egg exciting, excellent booty to the YouTube world. And uh, I would like to thank her because uh, she kind of denounced that you got to be, um, uh, gotta gotta either be mixed or you gotta have to have uh, black in you or Mexican or or have to have some kind of racial color if I if I'm uh, <clears throat> uh, pronouncing that uh, politically incorrect racial color in you to have a big big booty. You know, um, she she wrote these things in this one and it lasts about between you know, between twenty one and thirty one seconds. Individual great. Yeah, you know, I think he's uh, her cameraman like Z. I know that he put his name or not, but he's so lucky. I wish I was him. And she had another one. Uh, she clapping her booty in, uh, in some underwear. Yeah, you know, well that show you um um the booty uh or booty talent or. Uh, creativity with the uh, bottom or the buttocks is not a race thing. Just to me, it more of a personality thing, lifestyle, and nutrition and, and activity. And this girl named Cal K A I can I pronounce it? sorry about that Cal. Uh, um, and I think she like a um, hip hop dancer instructor slash uh, personal trainer, if I'm not mistaken. Um. You can see she got great muscle tone. And um Miss Miss Callie. M I S K A I L E E. Um she got great muscle tone. So that show you you're not really a race thing, it your BMI, your body mass index. So um if you do not take good care of yourself or lift weights like she does, uh, I guess with her hamstrings, she do squats, she, she do squats and stuff like that. And like I say, more of your mind thing, you're more uh, careless what other people think and uh, more or less just being yourself instead of a race thing. Which, I ain't gonna lie to you, man, black women do got advantage over all the other races. Um, I don't wanna put down the black women and anything like that. But you can look at most black women. The muscle mass is very high, even the one that don't even exercise, the one that never exercise, stay home, watch TV, eat potato chip, still have a, have a higher muscle mass than most white women or other other race of women that exercise, eat right, take protein, even steroids. Black women still got the high muscle uh, mass index. Uh, that due to the environment that came from Africa, due to uh, maybe during slavery time, mix one tribe with the other tribe, like you might get a, a fat tribe of fatty African with a tribe of muscular African, then after so many decades, start missing them. Plus, uh, black people have been uh, kind of open, but it's by my standards standard to go outside their race and mix with others. So that do a lot so wise. White people usually just stay in one particular segment or uh, like Italian with Italian or white with white. Um that do a lot so it plus black people nutrition stereotypically a high in fat and protein. Whereas just white people is either just one or the other, either fatty or just straight healthy. Where black people is just they kind of both, you know. And um, I'd like to say in your attitude toward yourself and toward the people that make you look the way you look. And, um, you know, you're aggressive, surely you're going to have more muscle than someone, I guess, who not. Uh, so, the majority of black women are more aggressive than most white women, you know. Uh, when you think about white women, you think about, like, ballet or country line dancing, no offense to white women. When you think about black women, you think about, uh, let's see, I guess, like, hip-hop dancing would take a whole lot of movement of the body which should use more muscle about that you can be more muscular 
whereas let's say valet takes us one or two monsters or a particular monster. So, um, Miss Kelly, uh, I would really like to thank you for uh, showing you a bit luscious egg, siding, booty, E G G I C T E, booty, booty to the whole world and everything. And you fall in the same category with uh, Coco. Um, I guess in the coach Smith, she had a bit booty, even though she wasn't really like uh, classified as a um, booty girl. She more of a Playboy bunny, and, um, you know, just all the other girls throughout history. Um, so, um, yeah, so thanks, and I hope you see this video. And uh, I love all your videos, and I hope you like mine and leave replies on mine also. And this is the same part of the YouTube.com.